I'm in Denver, Colorado, heading to Pittsburgh for part two. I'm at the Pizza Hut. It's looking pretty good in here. Check out the items. Might have to get a, a supreme or something. Supreme, baby. It's gonna be colder this time around. Hi. You got like a combo that comes with this? Combo breadsticks, drinks. Oh, can I just get this in a like a small Pepsi? Thank you. Okay. So, um, for the Supreme Pizza and a Pepsi, ten fifty nine. And I have to say, the Denver Airport is one of the nicer airports I've I've been to. Check it out. Look at there's just like a lot of open space. I got to prepare for the cold, the Pittsburgh cold. Till next time. Oh, I'm going to get this this uh, golf cart coming by. I can't lie to you. It tastes like a frozen pizza. It tastes like it's been sitting out for five hours. But it's okay. I'm not one to complain. I'll get what I could get, but it does taste like a, I mean, a DiGiorno's would taste better than this. But I'm not gonna complain. I'm at the Denver Omelet, and then look at the beautiful Pittsburgh sign for Pittsburgh part two. I'm at the Pittsburgh airport uh, to visit my girlfriend. And um, I, but I, I got my friend George some um, Dunkin' Donuts. Let's see if uh, I can find them. What's up, George? I got you some donuts, man. So he completely ignored me. Fucking up, huh? <laughs> You're fucking up. Hey everyone, we're in Pittsburgh here and we're at the Skating Center. Yeah. And they reopened it, huh? Hope you could just say off camera, yeah? Yes. Um, and then uh, we're not going to say where we're at, but is this pretty crowded for. Uh... It got crowded. It got crowded. Because so, she said that there's not going to be no one here. And it's the exact. <laughs> And it's the exact opposite. It's the premiere of Star Wars. I had to get you Look. here. So is this is the hangout for tonight, then? Yes. Okay. We'll so till... we'll see you in there, and I'll and then I'm gonna be falling on my ass. Are you good at roller skating? Yes. Okay. I so. have my own skates. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm just chilling. So we went, we had a good time at the the roller rink and uh, they made some changes with the fluorescent. Look who it is. Speak of the devil. Come on over here. Tup tup. Tup tup. Tup. Tup tup. What's up? So we had a good. What's up? You want to have a you want to have a talk? So yeah, we had a good time. Um, they had two different options. They had uh, the regular roller skates or the the roller blade ones. What's up? You want to talk? So we had a good time. Um, they had different types of, uh, I guess. Um, roller skate games where it's like uh, they had these foam sticks where um three of them if they if they tagged you with it you would have to go in the middle middle of the ring rink uh not the ring the rink and uh yeah it was fun felt like a kid again and they had some good beverages i had a, we got i got a gatorade and they had a little kind of like a kind of a kid um like training area for like uh the beginner the beginner uh you know i guess rollerbladers and uh roller skaters so um yeah uh highly recommend going there if you're around that area didn't want to put them on blast out hard but yeah we had a good time Daisy May, we got shit to do. You gonna get up? Come on, there's a continental breakfast going on downstairs. We wanna walk you off first. Oh, don't look so sad. Why are you looking so sad? You don't wanna go out? Oh my God, you really don't wanna? What is it? Your brother and sister are up what's your deal oh oh my she, you're being so sentimental aren't you oh my goodness can you get any cuter Zzz. 
So this is your favorite game to play, huh? Let's see how good you are, man. Ooh, the way you threw it back, dude. You're a professional. John McEnroe. Do what you did earlier. Do that little top spin. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. There you go. That's that professional stuff, man. You ready? Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh, yeah. There he is. You the number one, huh? You the real one. Drop it again. And we'll do one more pass. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hey. And the winner is Tup Tup. Tup Tup's the winner. As the audience looks on. Okay, I was so, did you have a good trip? You're cleaning my ear, huh? Do you uh, did you have fun playing tennis with me? Hmm. There you go. So we had a great time here. And we're gonna have many more great adventures, huh? Tupped up. You're on camera. Do you have anything to say to the viewers? Okay, oh, that's what he's doing. He's going on his rock climbing adventure. There you go. Oh. Okay, till next time. Oh, God. Oh, quicksand. He's stuck in quicksand. There you go. You did it. Uh, yes. <sighs> Steve here, so I had a, um, I'm in Pittsburgh, but I had a nightmare. I wanted, I haven't done a, I haven't done a dream vlog in a while. So anyway, um, me and my homie Harris, we're going to a movie premiere, um, a weird movie like a Suspiria movie premiere. <clears throat> Very odd scene. And in this world, I had a, um, a pretty cool ride. I had like a, um, I don't know, oldie cars, but I had something like F El Camino, something really cool. It was like a lower, um, like a low rider car, but like, a classic car and uh, after the movie premiere we were talking about skateboarding and I wish he'd skateboard more and I said hey I was telling him I was encouraging him I said you know you have a really solid ollie and I, uh, this car was a little bit different because it ran on bubble gum um, like little kind of like pink chiclet chiclets and the square ones, you know, like in Back to the Future, um, you know, like the Mr. Fusion, um, I guess the gas tank or something. But this El Camino ran on bubble gum or pink um, square gum pieces where you open it up, it would pour like <clears throat> the gum inside the um, gas tank and then. Um, um, and so my friend, um, had to go to the bathroom at the gas station where I was pouring the gum inside the gas tank. And I looked to my, um, my right and I noticed that, uh, there was just, uh, kind of like just some suspicious dudes. And then, um. I remember Harris uh, coming out of the bushes or I heard someone say like, 
Steve, you know, like warning me. And so um, I um, lock, had locked the door on both sides. And all I remember was um, kind of like um, one of the dudes trying to shimmy the back window, like open it. And so, um, and that's when I woke up. But I guess my main message is even in um, the lower astral world or in dream dimensions, there are um, bad characters. Not everyone's good. So I just want to share that. Um, love y'all.